Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. So, little update. As you can see, we are back in our T fit. It's one week post Olympia, and this is my first session back. Um, just had time off, rested, give my body uh, time to recuperate after obviously battling it out on the Olympia stage, dehydrating, carving up, all that kind of stuff. Um, and also just spending time with the family and enjoying some decent food. A lot of decent food, in fact. But yeah, I'm still on cloud nine. I still can't believe I'm actually <laughs> stood here saying that I'm men's physique, Mr. Olympia champion, 2023. Um, yeah, after 20 years training, nine attempts, and we finally got it. Um, but yeah, this video is about how I brought my back up because a lot of you keep asking um, about how did I make so much improvement in such a short period of time. And the answer to that is just being so consistent with it. I was training it twice a week for over a year. Um, I learned how to showcase it better as well. So obviously going to Steve's, um, Bev's gym and, and getting really good feedback from him and how to hit a proper men's physique back pose. That really helped, but there's no denying that we were nine pounds heavier um, this year. And I think all of that went on my back. <laughs> and that was because I dedicated Monday and Friday hitting my back twice a week, never missed it either. And um, it was either width and lower back, and then it was thickness and lower back. So two separate type of workouts. Um, today we're gonna hit biceps and back. And it's, this is gonna be my new routine going into off season because I want to be my own worst critique and I want to look at my physique and think, well, how do we better it for, for the next Olympia? And I feel like my arms could just be a little bit more 3D, a bit more separation on the tricep to the bicep. So I want to hit my biceps first because that's what I want to hit. And I still don't want to neglect my back. So we're going to hit back, first session back is going to be back. And it's Monday, which means I can still hit back on Friday at the end of the week. So nothing changes there. Um, but yeah, just give you a bit of an insight into to my back training as well as biceps. And you can see some of the kit here at RT Fit because we're going to be opening very soon. Uh, needs a good clean, but this place is unreal. I can't believe I can say this is mine. Let's get training. Come on guys, I need a bit of motivation. <laughs> you'll know, anybody who's competed, you'll know. If you, Especially, I've been dieting a year and a half now, so I did the last Olympia, then went straight into dieting for the New York Pro, which is May, mid, mid, mid year, and then straight into this end of the year. So I now make an excuse as well. I used to say like, are we ready to go? Are you this, are you that? I was like, no, I just need to like reboot a little bit. But we're getting into it. First session back, let's go. Stop messing about, right? So, are you going to be training arms, well, biceps twice per week then? Um, yes. So what I'm going to tend, what I'm going to do going forward, I think, back Monday and Friday as usual, I'm going to incorporate maybe uh, back and triceps on a Monday, chest and biceps on a Tuesday, and then on a Saturday, train arms on their own, so they get twice a week as well. So triceps and biceps get twice. Back and back, uh, back gets twice as well. That's the plan. But I've got to really think about it. Like, got to just make sure there's enough time to recover between. But after my back making so many improvements from hitting it twice, definitely think that's the way forward on weaker muscle parts. Oh. 
What would you rather do right now? Eat or terrain? Sleep, to be honest. I'm actually tired. <laughs> so neither. I like to go to, to bed. It's eight o'clock at night, but I've been down here doing site meetings, doing RTE's kitchen, the worktops, tiling the bathrooms. So mentally I could just rest right now. But we've uh, only got 360 days or something like that. Prep starts now then. Prep begins now. <laughs> <laughs> What was your weight going into the Olympia? Yeah, so my weight, obviously there's a lot of talk now about men's physique with a new weight cap coming in January. Um, Got to admit, it was quite entertaining, should we say, at athlete meeting because we did weigh-ins um, because we just wanted to see where everybody's at, what type of work people have got to do um, for either downsizing or room to grow for the division. And it was like setting us up for next year. So I think, out of 47 of us, I think there's only about 10 of us that made weight. So, and nobody was really under. A lot of them were, were quite far over. Some as far as 20, 23 pounds over their stage weight. So it just shows you how far we let the division go than what it was supposed to be. And I think this new weight class is gonna be quite good for just kind of capping and bringing it back down. Um, my weight was allowed to be 202. When we weighed in, I was 203, but the reason for that was we were weighing in later on in the evening, so we'd had quite a lot of meals in the day. I wasn't trying to make any sort of weight. I was trying to keep as full as a house, and I was carving up at that stage. I went on at, um, at every other show, especially in New York, at 197, so I could easily come down under the 202 cap. I could sit at 200, 201, 202, and be comfortable there. So. Um, we have no worries going into next year. Um, it's quite nice actually to be at the, the top end because you know you're as full as you can be, so to speak. I struggle to put muscle on anyway, so I wouldn't really be fearful of going over that weight. Um, How did it feel in comparison to being down weight at New York to the Olympia, like yeah. feel-wise? Did you feel yeah. any difference? So, so the big difference, I was nine pounds heavier from New York to, to Mr. Olympia, which is only six months difference. Um, and the difference I felt was I, harder, I carved harder um, and I, I pumped up a lot better. So I held my pumps for longer. I felt like my skin was popping out, so it felt amazing at the Olympia. When I pumped up backstage, I only did a couple of press-ups and I felt full, like I was about to burst, where I never ever feel that because I always over diet and under carb up. So I never risk my condition. I always go in shredded, but I, I look a bit stringy and depleted. Whereas I hadn't, I wanted to practice because no one expected me to win this year. I was out of the top six. So I wanted to really push my body and see what, how much it could take and what difference that would make. Um, if I'm honest, and this is being brutally honest, I felt slightly wider in my midsection because I was full as a house and because I've got very dominant abs, quite thick abs, 
the more I tense on stage, the more the blood rushes to it, like any other muscle part pumps up and it felt like it was swelling a little bit. So as I got into the evening time, I just didn't feel as tight and as crisp as I wanted to, but I'd done the work obviously for pre-judging, which was the main thing and I, I got myself in the mix then. So other than that, yeah, it felt amazing this year. I felt a lot bigger and I felt like I could stand next to the likes of Brandon and Erin and not look out of place being too small. Feel. Oh, well done, Primal. Is this one of the new favourite pieces? That's definitely my favourite piece at the minute, yeah. But I haven't tried anything else yet. <laughs> no, it's brilliant, that is. Forward facing lap pull down. Primal performance range, really good. You can adjust the width of it as well, so you can have it. It's like a, a neutral or closed grip. It goes wide as you want. You can do it underhand, pronated, neutral. Brilliant, brilliant piece of kit. Can I just say, without blowing too much smoke up Primal's arse, their new performance range, guys, is absolutely class. Like, I'm a bit of a geek when it comes to like biomechanics of machines and like the smoothness of them. I've always been a fan of like the old school Nautilus and how they used to be made, not these cheap shitty ones nowadays. But the performance range is very heavy with cam belts instead of chains and stuff like that. I was a bit dubious of it at first. I was a bit like, is it gonna run right? Is it durable enough? The, the smoothness and just, oh, I don't even know how to explain it. I won't give it justice. You've got to try these new machines. They're just so good, so smooth. It really helps you connect that mind to muscle connection. Ah, and it just feels solid. It feels great. It feels like you've got full control over the movement, but you're locked in. You can't cheat, you can't, manipulate the weight in any way. It's all in the muscle part you need it to be. And those cam belts are so smooth. And obviously we're gonna to need to see, test, uh, see if they stand the test of time. But they've been rigorous, rigorously tested in over like really hard circumstances. And they've been amazing. So yeah, I can't wait for people to try this. I think it's gonna be like revolutionary. I'm not just saying that either. I do, I think it's going to be amazing. Wait till you try it. So what's the plans for competing next year? Bloody hell. Come Maybe on. off stage a week. <laughs> Gotta let uh, us know. Jesus, Ash. Um, to be honest with you, I would love, people talk about doing warm up shows and I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do because for instance, Erin Banks um, was a prime example of that with the Legions Fest here. He kind of put himself up there before going into the Olympia, which he didn't need to do. He had so much momentum going into the Olympia. He was the top favourite for, obviously, the current Mr. Olympia. And kind of knocked him off his perch a little bit. It gave everyone a little bit of belief. Everyone stepped the training up because Chiron beat him. So, for me, this isn't set in stone, but I would really like to have a decent off-season and just really perfect little things which I feel like I could improve on. Like I say, my arms now, uh, still keep that back, bringing it up, and just bring like a, an undeniable physique for my, trying to retain the title, because that's all I want to do now, is obviously start trying to rival Brandon Hendrickson at three, Jeremy at four, you just never know. Um, but I, I want to do a lot more appearances and, and try and get in front of the people who've helped make this happen, and obviously you guys at home, uh, fans of the sport. Um, I used to do a lot of it, but over the recent years, I think since the pandemic, we kind of closed up and didn't really do much uh, 
in appearance wise so i'd like to try and get to some shows over in the states do more appearances meet you guys hear your stories uh, and get myself out there a bit more and then yeah like i say lock it down for the olympia as the victory sunk in of being 2023 <laughs> men's physique mr olympia um it's a weird one i've got to admit so Obviously, this has been my life's dream. So two thirds of my life, I've been working towards the Olympia title. So I started training 20 years ago, 34 years, so just under two thirds of my life. And 10 years of that was my sole focus on getting to the Mr. Olympia and working my way down the ranks or up the ranks to getting that first place. And three hip surgeries later, back surgery, shoulders, injuries, everything like that, all the social, events I've missed, all the family things I've missed, all the sacrifices I've done. Bear in mind, everybody else has done this as well. I'm not trying to say I'm the only person who's gone through this, but I've done over 30 odd preps for, and each prep I've ever done is merely a stepping stone to the Olympia. So winning this show is amazing at, uh, at any level, but it's always that stepping stone to the Olympia. That's the ultimate goal. So to keep grinding and grinding away for so long, to then finally achieve it is just unfathomable and I just can't seem to get my head around here. And I get little moments to myself when it's quiet, kids have gone down to bed or Amy's not in the house or whatever, and it hits me like a ton of bricks and I burst out crying, I'm a big mess, can't, can't even console myself, I just cannot believe what's gone on. Um, and then within a few minutes, I'm jumping in a skip outside RT Fit I'm picking tiles, I'm covered in shit. I've got four or five businesses to run. I'm changing my, my daughter's nappies, uh, take, doing the school runs, and it's just back to normality. And it, it's really, it's humbling, but it's really hard as well because I just want to enjoy what's been achieved. And just, like I say, my life's work has been for that title. Um, so it's really hard because I, life doesn't stop because I've won that title. And, I have responsibilities as a dad, as a business owner, um, and people are relying on me, so I have to, to keep going. And it's just some, some part of me just wants, I don't want to, I just want to lay on the sofa, eat some grubby food, and just take in that I'm mentally Mr. Olympia. <laughs> Which, even saying that now, I get goose pimples. Right, so we're moving on to, yeah, close grip row. Um, this, again, is an awesome piece of kit, so it's not just a normal, conventional row. We've got different, basically pinpoints, pivotal points, to get different angles. So we're gonna go for a high set in here. We're gonna change the foot position down, like that. Change the length of the bench, depending on how tall you are. If you need to stand, sit further back. If you're shorter, stand closer, or sit closer. Nice. We're going to go for single handles each, so we're working it unilaterally. And notice we've got separate, on separate cables. Right, so that wasn't the most end thrilling workout. We did no compound lifts, we did no bent over barbell rows or free weights, but still good, got the blood flowing. Good to get back into training, should we say. Good to test out some of the new kit, because I ain't tested any of this kit out yet. 
I only got two sessions in before I left for the Olympia. So it really excites me to now start training out of here, especially for next year Olympia. I've got no excuse. I've got a restaurant on the other side of that wall. So I'll have all my meals being able to prep. And then obviously here we've got the recovery suite over there. We've also got the posing room, which we're going to come and show you now. Because I got this finished yesterday. So let's go and test the lighting out. So this is on three dimble switches, as you can see, which you didn't see. <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> right, watch. So we're on three dimble switches. Try again. So we've got one spotlights in the middle, create some shadows. If you want to look shredded and cheap, the mirrors, they're there. Then we've got outer ring which you then get into the stages where nowhere to hide and then bang, you've got nowhere to hide. This is showing everything. You and your coach, this is where you should be at, full light. If you want to create some shadows and look absolutely shredded for your Instagram profile picture, we're going to dim them down, set the mood, create some dark shadows, you're laughing. So I've thought about this. We've got the mirror for your back shots. It's very dirty in here, it needs cleaning, but the floor's down now. A nice wipeable floor, so if you're sweating, which you should be when you're doing your ice attention work and your posing practice, it's easily wipeable and hygienic. Right, let's do this. I might not show you the front, pretty blowered, but we can have a look at the back. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Yay or nay to the retro shell suits? I wouldn't normally rock anything like this, but. Since becoming Men's League Mr. Olympia, I just feel like I can rock anything. Pull anything no, off. <laughs> I'm only joking. That sounds really cocky, but I just thought I was going to just try it out, see if I can rock it, because normally I just baggy black pants and yeah, I'm nervous. So we'll just with the top on. Mirrors need a clean, mate. Yeah, definitely need a clean. For what we're saying. I think he's ready to hit the stage now. <laughs> no, definitely not. But hey ho, let's have a look. Don't. Oh god. Ooh. Yeah, let's go for the back. I've only done a bit of pumping up full as out. Oh, we saw it feels very full. Right, so you see my physique. We're going into off season now, dad bod is upon us. So you probably won't see that again for another 300 odd days. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. It's probably gonna be an RT update the next one because there is a lot been updated. I can't wait to show you that side of the building because it's pretty insane. I'm only a few weeks from opening. I haven't even got any staff yet. Oh, you're being summoned. Ash is being summoned. It's you. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.